Hello and welcome to my first Unity tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use MakeHuman to create a base human model for your games. First thing you're going to want to do is go to MakeHuman.org and download and install MakeHuman. I've already done that. So we're just going to wait for it to start up here. Alright, when you first start up MakeHuman you will be applied with this very default starting mesh. It's just kind of middle ground all the way through. Now depending on what kind of game we want to make, you're going to want to start with a different base. So let's pretend we're making a generic first person shooter, lots of testosterone. We're going to need really beefy guy. You know, he's just worked hard just to shoot people. Alright, after you get some rough base where you want to create all your characters from. You want to then add some sort of skin. You know, pick whatever one you want. I like this one. With the skin, we're also going to need a skeleton. Now the skeleton depends on how well it animates. Now they do have a built-in game skeleton but I actually really don't like how the hands are rigged with the game one. I actually like the human IK skeleton. It's really good starting spot. You've got eye movement, you've got all the fingers, you've got everything all hooked up and ready to go. And with all that, I believe we are good to go with this. I do want to select low poly eyes though. We don't need crazy high poly eyes for anything. Now, uh, for the most part, we should be good with that. I mean, they've got all sorts of teeth models, but they're crazy high poly and not useful for games. Oh, one thing I almost forgot, super important. You want to go to geometries, topology, and you want to pick a proxy for this guy. Otherwise, if you uh, go look at how many polygons he has, I mean, really, that is not too terrible if you want to go crazy next next gen technology. But there's a better way to do this. Let's go with something a little less high poly. And with that, we are going to export. We are going to be using Blender 3D for this, and we are going to export to whichever folder you want. I've set up a folder for this and we're just gonna call this human. Save and the mesh has been exported. Now that's all fine and well. Now you can actually uh, close make human at this point. Now we have to set up blender for the importer. So we're going to have to go back to makehuman.org, go to the download tab, and we're going to download blender tools. Now Blender Tools has the importer that we need to allow Blender to import the human we just made. So we're going to go to our downloads where we downloaded it, extract it, and in Blender Tools we have all these little tools but really all we want is this mhx underscore importer. And we have the Python file right now which is all we really want. So what we're going to do where we have to put this is in our application data. Now to do, go there, you want to put in percent sign app data percent sign. It's a shortcut to get to your username app data roaming, which we need to go to Blender Foundation, click through all the menus, scripts, add-ons, and then we need to put import scene mx, mhx.py in this folder. Once you've done that, you may load up Blender. Now, we actually want to keep the default cube for now. I'll tell you why in a second. We're going to import... Oh, one thing. We have to actually enable the add-on. So you go to uh, your user preferences, add-ons, and uh, search for import. And down here you'll see make human import, make human exchange. And enable that, and save. Now, you want to go to import and at the bottom there should be makehuman.mhx and
and wherever you saved the make human model you want to open that one it didn't save to the name I really wanted it to but that's not a big deal for some reason our cube has smooth shaded itself but now you see that our human model is imported he looks kinda weird but uh... he's got all his eyes his bones but uh... we're going to now mess with him in the next tutorial i'll see you then